Hi students, welcome to the session on effective aperture of HCN dipole antenna. Here we derive an effective aperture equation for HCN dipole antenna. Alright, so let us assume that uh, this is our antenna. Right, uh, with the length L. Okay, so here the antenna electric field incident on the antenna is E or wave incident on the antenna is this one right okay this is open circuit voltage oh, fine so what is a effective aperture equation in general A is given by PL by S right so it is nothing but a, what you call ratio of power received divided by power density of the incident wave power density of the incident wave that's what our effective aperture so how can you know that uh, power received is what this is what per power density what per meter square so it will give meter square that's what effective aperture right it's a area imaginary area right so this is effective aperture fine so we have to find everything okay so yes power in so power density of the incident wave s is given by e squared by eta because s is equal to e h h is equal to e by eta so e into h is equal to e by eta e squared by eta so that is given by e squared eta is 120 pi yes we found right what is power received pn is given by so for maximum power it is given by voc square divided by 4 r radiation right whenever we have a maximum power transfer power received is given by voc squared by 4 r, 4 into r here radiation distance so v is equal to e into l right so e squared l squared divided by or r why e is equal to v by length volt per meter that's what v by l so v is equal to e into l so i substitute v is equal to e square l square by 4 r radiation now a e a e is given by p l p l by s so e squared L square divided by 4 R radiation. What is the R radiation for HCN dipole antenna? 80 pi square divided by DL by lambda. Right? So 80 pi square into DL by lambda whole square. This is what PL. S is given by E squared by 125. Sorry, S is equal to e squared by 125 e squared by 125 this implies a is equal to 3 by 8 lambda squared by 5 All right so this is what uh, effective aperture of uh, what do you call uh, of a uh, sorry hcn dipole antenna right here you see what are the things we have to understand from this ae effective aperture is independent of length of dipole of course right so that is the one thing we have to remember then if f increases what will happen sorry if f decreases frequency decreases lambda will increase here lambda will increase lambda increases a e will increase effective aperture will increase right so that is one of the important point to be noted okay so that's all about this session if you have any doubt please ask me in comment section 
i will clarify thank you